Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, the swap scroll should be going live on the global server pretty much as I upload this video or a bit after, meaning that I wanted to go through my plan uh, and give you guys some other ideas and maybe why you should hold out on using it. Now, I'm going to show you my plan over on this account because uh, I'm playing with a bit of a big brain idea on this early game account that I'm going to test out. Uh, you know, we're, we're very early, so so I'm going to go through that, but before we do that, I want to jump over here and show you guys this guide that I saw on Reddit, which is really quite nice. Now, this, take all these with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, it's about having fun. If you have something you want to swap to because you really like it, go ahead. But to me... Um, We'll go through this one in, in in a minute, but basically to me, the, f the first priority, if you have a really highly ascended Awakened Disease or Awakened Taylene, that's going to be like your top priority if you don't have like very built one of these guys. Then obviously swapping a Wukong or a Flora for a Celestial is going to be a priority. And then if you don't really have anything you can do with those two, you can do one of these swaps. And if you don't have anything that you really want to swap, you feel like you've played it pretty optimally, obviously you can just not do it and then you can just get 10,000 diamonds at the end of the event. But let's take a look at this little guide here. Now, once again, this is by uh, posted by Ste uh, Steel Source. So I'll leave this linked in the description as well. Um, but basically, Awaken is, is like they go through the top priorities. Awaken is, is basically a legendary copy is all you need to get that lockout. Essentially, Taylene still does have some uses. Um, Wukong's the one you ideally want to swap Flora second. If you watched me on my free-to-play account, I swapped my Flora. That's because my Flora was actually ascended and my Wukong was only mythic. So I saw greater value in swapping away my Flora to get that higher ascension. So that's something you have to weigh up in yourself. Uh, on whether you want to do that or not. Uh, and then, you know, they go through their priorities of here. Um, I think the general consensus amongst, amongst most people is Solus is number one. But if you're building a Solus and let's say you've got her to like Mythic, maybe then you go for the Brutus or the Baden or the Thane, whatever you want. It just depends. So you got to balance out your uh, Ascension levels on the others. Because like for me, if you saw when I did my swap, I did my Flora and I swapped for Rook. Now, the reason I, I wanted to do Chad because I was building Chad, but he was already at Legendary Plus and I had no Rooks. So I got myself one copy of Rook and swapped the Rook because that meant I had bonus copies of Chad and the net uh, summons that I would have to do to get both of those two to Ascended was going to be less. So that's sort of the reasoning that I like to look through. But here's some basic suggestions. Obviously, Lucretia and Olna, two great options. And then you can mix it up from there uh, and go on with where you want. Like I said, these two, like, like I've still got my Mortis at Mythic. Uh, I don't think I've got a Kazard at all, but I got like my Mahira at Mythic. And if you're swapping something to Mythic, maybe if you got your Wukong and at Mythic or something like that and you want to swap it, you can go ahead. It's going to be a different situation for every account. So you're just going to have to play it and see how you go. So, and then obviously Shamira and Lucius, if you've been playing for a long time, a lot of people have those two built, but a lot of people did swap them away with the original swap scroll that we got. So you can swap those two away. But I thought this was just a good one with some suggestions that you can go to uh, to look at. Now, like I said, I want to look at my account here, which is my newer account, uh, and talk about my play. Now, keep in mind that when you do swap, uh, it is going to swap over all your furniture, all your signature items, all your engravings. But something that I wanted to look at and what I'm going to do on this account. So on this account, the like, I, there's no point in me really swapping for a Awakened Hero because if we go to this account, I've got one copy of uh, Solus and I've got one copy copy of Baden. There's no swapping that's going to be beneficial. So like I said, the Awakened Hero was my top priority to swap if I had a good value proposition. Now, keeping in mind, if you've only got like a Legendary Plus, um, you know, uh, Awakened Hero that you're looking to swap, but you've got like an Ascended Wukong that you can swap away or an Ascended Flora, then that becomes better. So you just got to weigh up the value in your account. But for me, I am building Lucretia on this account. So my Lucretia is at uh, effectively Legendary Plus already. So I can't get any additional value. But Ulna is something else that obviously I'm going to want to build. Ulna is just an absolute beast. So when I look over here, I have no Ulnas, but I do have a copy of Wukong. And now this is a strategy that anyone can use with your Wukong. I probably could have used it on my other account, but I wouldn't have got him far enough to make it worth it. Uh, but if we go over here to the Labyrinth store, obviously we can buy Wukong copies and we can refresh the shop. But the other thing here on my account is I've already spent 60,000 on a copy of 
or on uh, 15 fragments of Joan of Arc, but that's still in my bag and I can actually refund that and I'm looking at doing it because if I sell this, that's actually another copy of Wukong that I can get. And when we look at my currencies, and this is why I say wait till the end of the event because on the test server, it's still got how many days left? 18 days. So it's like a 24 day event or something like that. Um, so you can wait till the end and see how many you get because we, if we go here to events and we go to day, uh, the calendar do we have a labyrinth yeah so uh we got we got the double labyrinth drops coming as well so this becomes even more of a viability challenger store i don't like doing the challenger store as much i wouldn't be going for floras in the challenger store personally just because uh i'd want to get the zolrath built it is sort of the priority i would look at and also mulan so me on this account you got mulan you've got uh da vinci you've got merlin and you got zolrath like to me, Mulan's my number one priority because I love her. But like, there's no world in which I'm going to actually buy the copies here. But in the Labyrinth store, it's a bit of a different picture where I can buy the Wukongs. And if you look at my account, I'm at 78,000. It's going to take me no time to get to 60,000, which means I'm going to buy the end, by the time I get there, by the time by the end of this event, I'm going to guarantee myself three more copies of Wukong. Now, if we go to quests, I'm not sure if I've got any more of the quests where I can get extra ones so i'll also get this with an extra 10k and because we've got the double labyrinth points like i might actually get another copy on top of that um now you do have to pay the the refresh cost of a thousand but to me to get uh to get those copies of paying a thousand gems for a copy of ulna is worth it in my opinion now it will slow my progress on getting something like joan of arc yes it will but in general i think it's just the better play for me on this account and it's definitely something to consider if you're looking at swapping uh especially a Wukong. The great thing about Wukong is we get one free at the start of the game. We get another one free through the, um, the whatchamacallit, what's the thing in the Wandering Power? The one, uh, the Shadow Invasions. So we already get two base copies of Wukong. That's where I've got my from. And then, like I said, I might get up to four more copies of Wukong from the store. And I just think that is the best thing on my account. I think that's going to help me more than any swapping any normal hero, because if we look over here in my bag, I'm going to get that swap scroll at chapter 24 anyway. So I've already got one of those so that is the play that i just think is a really sensible play for a lot of people spend the gems refreshing uh the labyrinth store to do that and that's what i'm going to do over here so like i said i'll purchase that uh what i'll what i'll do as well uh yeah i i just don't see any world in which i don't actually do this the one thing i'm going to hold out on is i'm not just going to sell all of these actually yeah there's no point in holding on to like 15 because you can't buy and i was going to say maybe i hold out and maybe if i only have to sell five i sell five but i can only buy her in batches of 15 so kind of negates the point so unless this is stupid let me know but i'm just going to sell that now get those back yes i lost fifteen thousand, but in the net position getting an extra copy of ulna from that i think is worth it so now i can go ahead and refresh this boom get another wukong the only thing that makes me really sad is that this chest from the previous event uh is where, where is it where is it where's the where's the previous event chest is it this one yeah, it had a flora. So if that was a Wukong, I would definitely pop this and have the Wukong, extra Wukong copy uh, and then to swap that away. Also, yes, if you're trying to swap for a uh, Wukong or a uh, flora, make sure you pick them up from, like, claim them from these chests. Uh, for instance, this, I've got to go ahead and summon those two as well. Uh, and then if we go over here, heroes, now I've got my Wukongs up and I've got my four copies of Wukong so far. Did I get an extra copy? Okay, there was an extra copy in there I hadn't popped. That's the other thing. Gotta pop those shards. <laughs> don't, don't not pop those shards. Don't go to the shop. Don't go to the shop here and buy your Wukong and then have left and not go and claim those shards because I don't think it will change the shards in the bag. So <laughs> definitely pick that. So wh where I'm looking at now is I've got... Like, I'm guaranteed to get myself five copies of Ulna, possibly one more. Now, the thing is, to swap to Ulna, I do have to have a copy. And for me, it's very lucky. If you don't have a copy of the hero you're trying to swap to, uh, make sure you just stargaze for a copy of them, uh, if it's a Celestial Hypergene, obviously. But we do have the select chest as well, if we, if you want to swap to those, uh, which we get through the event. And we also, if you're doing an Awakened Hero. Uh, and also, for me, we do have, which is fantastic timing, we've got the Celestial Offerings event. Uh, and that does have an Ulna in there. So I'm just going to get Ulna from this event. 
event. Wait till then. Uh, wait and see how many Wukong copies I can actually get with my Labyrinth points by the end of this event. And then away we go. We can swap. But at the moment, it's looking like I'm going to get myself at least five possibly six copies of Wukong, uh, of, of Ulna from this trade with my Wukong just by playing around with the Labyrinth store a bit. So hopefully that makes some sense. That's what I'm doing here, but definitely abuse the Labyrinth store and Wukong copies to get that out. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are you swapping for? Like I said, I like the priority of Awakened Hero Swap, then uh, Celestial Hypergene, then Normal Hero, but you've also got to balance how many copies of each thing you're going to get with the swap uh, and how much you use the other hero. Like I said, Awakened Aziz, easy swap because you can just get that one legendary copy and that's all you really need from him at this stage in the game. Uh, and then uh, Wukong, obviously easy swap. Flora, not ideal, but if my Flora, like on my free-to-play account, was at like one star and my Wukong was at Mythic. I'm going to swap my Flora because let's face it, I don't use her that much. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.